It's hot, filling, and mm, mm, good. Chef Craig Hansen from Rang Forest Cafe is here to give us the recipe for a smoked salmon corn chowder. Oh, that looks good. And especially uh, a chowder is a nice, healthy dish. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a corn chowder based soup that we add a little bit of a fish seasoning to. Okay. And then we're going to add some smoked salmon on top to make it really hearty and keep you warm. All right, so go ahead and get it started. You're okay. starting off with a roux, yeah, right? Yeah, I've got some butter here. I'm going to saute some onions. Mm -hmm. I just want those to get uh, translucent or soften up a little bit. Okay. So we're going to cook those for about a minute, and then we'd add uh, celery. We want to cook these down, and what I'm doing is I'm getting different uh, layers of textures. Mm -hmm. You know, some soft onions, a little bit of crispiness from the celery. Okay. And then we're going to add in our flour. And this is, this is how we're going to create a roux, which is basically going to be what thickens our soup for us. Okay. Now, in normal time, not TV time, but in normal time, how long is it going to take you to get that roux, the consistency uh, you about want? About three minutes mm -hmm. over medium heat. What you, you're just trying to cook out the flour flavor, but it's going to be essentially your thickener base. Okay. Uh, so you just want to cook out the flavor a little bit. You don't want it to brown, mm -hmm. just a, a little tan color. Okay. So we're going to stir that up a little bit, make sure that all the lumps of flour are nice and incorporated. All right. All right. And then we just want to add in a little bit of dry vermouth. Okay. Now you can eliminate this if you want. What it does is it uh, cooks out the alcohol, but it adds a little bit of sweetness. Oh, okay. Awesome. So now that we've got our roux complete, mm -hmm. we're going to slowly add in some half and half and some clam juice. Okay. And then in this, you didn't heat that. You just mix it together yeah, and now you're just adding Absolutely, it. yeah. And you, you want to add it kind of slowly so it'll, you know, thicken mm -hmm. as, you, okay. as you bring it up. All right, now as you're adding this, tell me a bit again about uh, the uh, soup uh, sundae. You're going to be, you're not making this, but no, you've got a soup yeah, coming out. I can't out. reveal the secret of the uh -huh. soup that I'm going to be uh, displaying, but we're excited to participate. Um, you know, uh, we've raised for our kids uh, on Soup Sunday uh, $1.3 million. Awesome. Uh, and it provides services for, uh, you know, abuse children, medical mm -hmm. services, okay. counseling. So it's exciting to be a part of. So I'm just going to continue to add this in. All right. And that's basically going to be our base for our soup. Now we're just going to add our corn. And in the recipe, I, I use whole corn and then I use some uh, chopped up corn. Okay. Again, and this is one of those two where you could be creative. If oh, it absolutely. Was like, uh, peas, butter beans, absolutely. or green beans that you like. Whatever you like. Okay. And then I've got some uh, seafood base, and this kind of enhances it. And this is available at your local supermarket. Gives it a little bit of that seafood uh, taste mm -hmm. that'll complement the salmon. Okay, super. On top. And then a little bit of dried basil, some coriander. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to finish it with a pinch of kosher salt. All right. Now, we talked a second ago about uh, the, the time on the roux itself. Yeah. Total time that would be necessary to get this soup like you want it. Uh, about 15 minutes mm -hmm. simmering. Okay. And the, the nice thing is you can make it in a large quantity. You can freeze it, put it in your crock pot, turn it on low, go to work, come home, add your salmon to it, and you're ready to go. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I didn't really think about that. So you could actually freeze this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we're just going to as uh, time passes, it'll slightly thicken, okay. and then you'll end up with a nice... Nice chowder there. Nice thickened chowder. And then when you're ready to serve it up, it looks good like that, because what you'll do then is you'll take that smoked salmon and just put it on top there, put as little or as much as you want, and that looks fantastic. Thank you for being with us Thank today. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Look for today's recipe on our website at newschannel5.com, and look for Craig representing Rainforest Cafe at Soup Sunday, February 26th from 11 to 2 over at Nissan Stadium.